Uncle C, back in the office, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a topic that's not only going to 10x your dating life, but this is also going to 10x who you are as a man. This is also going to give you purpose, sense of direction, and not only that, we're going to destroy a lot of the behaviors that actually hold you back from being who you truly want to be. Let's dive in. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Casey Zander. I'm the founder of Headman. I'm here to revitalize masculinity and help make men full stack. So, let's dive in. What is today's topic? Today's topic is the things that women genuinely know and understand that men today lie about. And I'm going to explain to you why this holds you back. And ultimately, the dishonesty that I see with game, the dishonesty that I'm seeing when it comes to how men are communicating and carrying themselves in interactions. Okay, we're gonna be breaking this down into three specific topics. So the first thing I wanna to cover today to preface all of this is just overall nice guy syndrome. What is nice guy, nice guy syndrome? Well, nice guy syndrome is a, a, a term that I coined here today because what most dudes feel is that they are nice, not because they want to be, but they feel like as if they have to be nice because they have to be. Okay, so deep down inside, they wish they were authentic. Deep down inside, they wish they could speak truth. Deep down inside, they wish that they could let their desires flourish to the forefront without judgment. However, they feel as if they have to be nice and sugarcoat themselves. What this really is, is watering themselves down, and it's not healthy. So what they fear on a day-to-day -day basis is things like verbal confrontation. This could be with anybody. This could be with parents, teachers, coworkers, the girl that they're seeing, anything. They are fearful of rocking the boat in any way, shape, or form. But this right here, fellas, is death by 1,000 cuts. When you slowly and consistently say yes to things that you do not want to say yes to, you're enabling your fear of judgment, okay? Make no mistake, in life there is ups and downs, okay? In life you will be judged for certain things that you say, but that's okay because here's the fact. You must get over your fear of being disliked. What happens if you have nice guy syndrome is that you are not nice because you want to be, you're nice because you feel as if you have to be due to the expectations of others around you. This is drastically going to hold you back. And the reason why this is drastically going to hold you back is because your word, right? So let's write the word word here. Your word that you speak into existence, okay? You start to trust this word less and less. Every single day that rolls by, you trust your words less and less due to the fact that you can't necessarily stay true to them. If you can't stay true to them and what you're speaking into existence, there is an incongruence with what you're wanting deep down inside of you, you will consistently be held back. And this will not serve you in the long run with dating. This will not serve you in any relationships. And this definitely will not serve you in the job path or career marketplace that you want to be in. Okay? People get a gist of this. Even if they don't say it straight up, they know it when they see it. So because of that, here's a little statement I want you to push through your head to try to get over this if you experience nice guy syndrome. The statement I want you to push through is that to be known, you must make a splash, okay? As a man, you want to be known for things that you're good at. You want to be known in the industry you're, you're in. You want to be known in your social circle. You want to have some element of status in your life. And this is okay, this is a good thing. People throughout the age of time have always admired popular people or have always wanted to be popular in a group because what it shows is that you are able to actually make connections, make friends, and have some sort of status. In order to get to that, okay, in order to be known, you're gonna have to make a splash. You're going to have to do things differently because if you do what 99% of dudes do, you're going to end up in the nice guy syndrome boat just like they are currently in. You must make a splash to be known. Now that we have this out of the way and we've prefaced the video with this, here's what women know regarding the desires of most men and why they are liars, okay? Most men keep their desires hidden. Think about this for a second. How many times have you came up to a woman that you're interested in or you're texting a girl that you maybe met on online dating or something along the lines of that and you're saying sentences that is putting one foot in front of the other just to hopefully not make a splash because you fear judgment, okay? When in actuality, if you look at how most men navigate the game, most men lie about what they actually want, okay? There's constantly an incongruence with what they're speaking to the women that they're interested in and what they actually want. And because of that, it creates a lack of trust. 
If you notice this in the dating game right now between men and women or anybody for that matter, there's a lack of trust between both. Okay. And that lack of trust carries on with resentment. So because of this, men have became yes men. What's a yes man? A yes man is a guy who just says yes to anything. He's hoping and praying to just get a date. He's hoping and praying to just get a girl's attention. He thinks to himself, any girl will do. Not only is this the low value mindset, but what you have to remember is that they're over focus on game. Okay, they're o- think about this. A man's over focus on game. How he has to play verbal jujitsu with his words in order to even just get a date. The over focus on game and not honest truth and authenticity and authentically speaking your desires into existence is exactly why there is a lack of distrust. This game and not speaking your desires into existence, okay, what this is doing is this is holding you back from truth. So, the reason being is because if you think, if, if, if you lead your life with honesty, just how much clarity you're going to actually have when dating. For example, if a guy wants a girl's number, he's going to jump through 10 different hoops, 10 different paragraphs, 10 different sentences, when in actuality, he could have just walked up and said, hey, I find you extremely attractive and I'd like to get to know you. Is there any way I could link up and we could exchange numbers? Right? Here's what you have to remember. Every single woman reserves the right to say no. So what you have to know is that you will be rejected from time to time. But that authenticity that you bring, it finally cuts to the heart and soul of the the words that you're actually trying to speak into existence and not cover up. This is extremely important. Because if you look what game is, if anybody has to play a game, a game means that there is a scoreboard. A game means that there's a winner and a loser. And that's not how it needs to be. So When you have this, what happens is you lead with deception and then at the end, it might take a week, it might take a month, it might take a year, it might take five years of that relationship. Eventually when it ends, you sit back and you wonder why it doesn't work or why it didn't work. And it's because you did not lead with the right integrity. These old school traits like honesty, integrity, speaking truth in the correct manner, being true to who you are, these things matter in the long run. And while it might not matter in the short term, what you will notice is eventually you turn into the type of person you never actually wanted to be. So men today, they are rarely honest. Okay, you now have my permission after watching this video to be upfront as a guy, right? You don't have to be brash, you don't have to be rude, you don't have to be vulgar, but you need to be upfront and honest, even if it rocks the boat and continue to come back mentally to the saying to be known, you must make a splash. So don't be nice just to please emotions because now you're a dishonest liar. Okay, I wrote this down. I should even put this in quotes. I might even put this on Twitter after this. Okay, don't be nice just to please emotions because now you're a dishonest liar. When you're a dishonest liar, this compounds. Okay, this compounds into your work life. You'll start to just say yes to things. Yes to coworkers. Yes to your boss when you know that you shouldn't. You'll lack boundaries in every area in life. You'll say yes to family members. Okay, etc, etc. This bleeds over and it carries into every single area of a man's life. And it's not healthy. I'm truly making this video to help you. So what I tell myself time and time again is I would rather have someone call me an ASS. Okay, as I tell the truth, than just say yes, and be pleasing and end up a liar. And if you can live by that, what you start to actually prioritize is you start to prioritize facts and raw truth over the emotions and the feelings. And this is going to be a big mental shift for you. But this is one that can actually propel you forward. Because when you come from things in a rational state, you can say yes from no. Okay, you can actually identify what truth is versus non truth, you can identify what lies are versus truth. And this is so important as you lead your life as a man. And this is not only the thing that is going to actually help carry you further in the dating game. But fellas, if you hear things like, you know, both people are dissatisfied in relationships. And ultimately, women will know that men lie a a lot of times and lead the entire game with dishonesty and disingenuousness. And that is ultimately why there is not cohesion in most relationships that you see today. If you like this video, there's a few things I want you to do. Number one, I want you to go down below. I want you to check out the MBT webinar. Okay, MBT stands for men's masculine behavioral training. And what this is, is this is an exact step by step process A through Z, where I show you how to attract and keep the women that you've always wanted. Number two, if you're a man wanting to work one to one with me, I want you to go down below and book a call with my brother Cole for the men's full stack one percenter program. Last but not least, subscribe to the Headman Nation newsletter. 
over the next three to five years, I'm going to be building this newsletter to a huge list to communicate to everybody who is part of Headman Nation to show you everything behind the scenes that I'm working on. Hit the like button, guys. Comment and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.